looking back at the tape, what, what do you think it was you guys were able to do that was, was as successful it was in keeping Oklahoma out of the end zone? Mm, really holding the uh, RPO down. Like, we held the RPO down a lot. Like, uh, and then stopping the run, for real. Two good things we did. We could have played better, but I think we played a pretty good game on defense. Played at Utah State. Uh, uh, what, what do you tell the guys about going out there and mountain time and all that and the fans, the atmosphere, the whole situation? Um, really, the elevation is going to be a factor this game. But uh, I feel like the crowd, I feel like never was better. So, like, ain't nothing, nothing really that we ain't seen before. But it's going to be loud in there. But the elevation is going to be – it's going to be a little bit of a problem. I played there last year, you know, it was nothing, nothing crazy. You guys are doing a good job of forcing takeaways, especially with the forced fumbles so far this season. And Coach Brown at Louisville, they really, like, led the nation last year in forced fumbles. So what is it like uh, playing for such an aggressive coach that teaches you to really go for the ball as much as you can? Oh, it's nice. It's real nice because uh, it's all about the ball. Like, that's how you win games. When we made that, uh, when Threats forced the fumble in the, in the red zone, that was a huge turn, like, that was a huge turn. We got to capitalize on that. Looking back at the tape, obviously, was there any play in particular that stands out that could have you guys thought you could have maybe changed that game on Saturday to where you guys could have got that momentum there for you guys? Um, it's not really like one specific play. It's like we would stop them, stop them, stop them. Then they will hit like they big run, and you know, it's not like really one specific play. It's just more like two drives or like third and sixteen when we had them like third and long on the goal line. I wish we could have stopped them when they hit the big run. I think they ended up getting a field goal that drive. That was one I wish we could have stopped them right there. You're, you're a West Coast guy. Do you have any, and this is as close as you get to where you're from, does anyone come to, to watch this? Yeah, my mom and my brother coming. So yeah, I'm gonna see them on uh, Thursday. From a player perspective, how, did, how much different is a short week? Missing an extra day of rest and then getting right into it. Yeah, short week, Um, it's tough, but you know, we've been doing a good job getting our lift in and recovery, and they took care of us yesterday. So, really, we only got one really banging day, which is today. So, you know, they do a good job taking care of us. So. Oklahoma converted that third and 19 on the rush play. When you look back at that on film, like, what's the reaction in the film room? What is Coach Brown saying to you guys when that happens? Uh, every gap was – we fitted every gap perfectly. Like, every gap was fit. We just – we got too thick on the man. Like, we didn't – we got too thick on the man, and then – the guard swallowed him, and then that's how he hit. But we was all gapped up. It's just a little technique thing. Like, they wasn't really a problem, like, like call, but it's a little technique. But that could get fixed easy. They have a linebacker over there that you played with last year. Uh, I can't pronounce his name because I can't pronounce it. Bon, Vong Pachon. Bon okay, Pachon. Yeah. Yeah. So how, how was that <laughs> playing against a, a former teammate and going back out there? Or did you, have you guys been texting back and forth? It, any communication, or do you even get along? Yeah, no, that's my guy. That's my guy. I called him. I said I'm gonna have more tackles than him uh, at the end of the game. So, you know, yeah, that's my guy. But he a good player. He a good player. I want him to. We gotta run the ball him too. See what he, you feel me? See what he made of. He a good player though. That's my guy. Looking forward to BYU on Friday night. Just talk about what you've seen from their offense. Obviously, Keaton Slovis is a guy who has had so much success in his college career. What does uh, this BYU present on the offensive end? Well, when I played them last year, they was like a more like run, stretch heavy team. But the first four games, they've been throwing the ball. So that's what I like. I'm going to try to pin my ears back and get after it. So, but they, they wasn't running the ball as much as they did last year, which I like. But they counter, stretch, you know, they like to chip a lot on the way. But cool, cool offense. No, we ain't seen before. So is BYU, Utah State, kind of like a battle for the victory bell type of thing where maybe nationally it's not known as a big rivalry, but in the state of Utah, it was a big deal. It is. It's the there is actually a trophy for that Utah State versus BYU. I forgot what it was, but I think it's the wagon wheel. The wagon wheel. Yeah, yeah, it is the wagon wheel. Yeah, uh, yeah, it is a rivalry. Like they call them, we call them the school down south or whatever. Yeah, but yeah, it is a rivalry. I didn't really know too much about it. But. Anything else? Okay. Yep. Thank you. Good. Oh. Thanks, guys. Thanks,